Good evening, everybody. My heartfelt thanks to Uncle Alan Madden for your generous welcome to Gadigal Land. Distinguished guests, the Honor Honourable Tanya Plibersek, Minister for the Environment and Heritage, the Honourable Penny Sharp, Minister for Heritage and Minister for the Environment, Professor Teresa Patricio, President of ICOMOS, Dr. Ishan Lurson Odiawa, President of the Adv ICOMOS Advisory Committee, Her Royal Highness Dana Faraz of Jordan, GA 2023 keynote speaker, Marie-Law Lavenier, Director General of ICOMOS, Professor Richard Mackay, Convener of the General Assembly, Helen Lardner, Chair of the Organising Committee, and Louise Heron, CEO of the Sydney Opera House. So, so many distinguished guests. So delegates, ICOMOS members, colleagues and friends, it is with the most enormous pleasure that I welcome you all on behalf of Australia ICOMOS to Sydney and to the General Assembly 2023. The General Assembly 2023 has only been possible because of the generous support contributed by the Australian Government through the Australian Heritage Grants Program and the New South Wales Government through Heritage New South Wales. We thank both governments for their backing and their investment in the ambitious vision for this event that was led over so many years by my indefatigable, indefatigable colleague, <laughs> Richard Mackay, and nurtured by ICOMOS volunteers from across Australia and all around the world. Thank you, Richard, and congratulations on your magnificent achievements. So uh, rising phoenix-like from the ashes of the cancelled 2020 Sydney General Assembly, the GA 2023 team has been resilient, creative and tenacious in the face of the numerous challenges that have arisen throughout these uncertain times. The scientific symposium that will open tomorrow with our two inspirational keynote speakers, Dr June Oscar, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Social Justice Commissioner and Her Royal Highness Princess Dana Faraz of Jordan will explore the theme of heritage changes. This theme emerged in response to the tumultuous changes that we were all experiencing in the first years of this decade. And it's only grown in its significance and resonance in the intervening period. In 2023, Australian communities are once again faced with the disruption and uncertainty, but also with the hope and optimism that change can engender, facing an historic referendum on constitutional change. In 2019, Australia ICOMOS resolved to support the, the Uluru Statement from the Heart and its commitment to truth-telling, constitutional reforms, and to the establishment of a First Nations voice to Parliament. So this incredible gathering of knowledge and experience, bound by our shared commitment to the rights of all people to enjoy and benefit from their cultural heritage, could not have come at a more timely and auspicious moment for Australia. We are confident that this General Assembly will not only create a significant legacy for cultural heritage here in Australia, but also forge new ground for us as an international community of heritage professionals. Thanks are due to the huge community of public and private sector partners who have supported the General Assembly. I've already, already acknowledged Uncle Alan, but I also thank the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Land Council the patronage of the city of Sydney, the Museums of History in New South Wales, the Australian Museum, the Royal Botanic Gardens and the National Maritime Museum have enabled our General Assembly to be staged across many of Sydney's most iconic historic venues. And we must take a special and make a special thank you to Opera Australia and the Sydney Opera House for the opportunity to launch our General Assembly in this magnificent setting. During the coming week, the New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Service, the Gundungurra Aboriginal 
Heritage Association, the National Trust of Australia, and the Blue Mountains City Council will host delegates in the stunning Greater Blue Mountains World Heritage Area, while over this, this weekend, the General Assembly Youth Forum gathered on Cockatoo Island, one of the World Heritage listed Australian convict sites, courtesy of the Sydney Harbour Federation Trust. Luna Park, Sydney, our fabulous Art Deco amusement park, is hosting a party for us so that we don't forget that we do this work for the places that we love and that make us and our communities happy. We enjoy major support from a wide corporate spectrum and I especially thank and welcome our Opal corporate patrons, Extend Heritage, GML Heritage, Lovell Chen, Earthcheck and Art of Multimedia. Our delegates will enjoy a host of activities, receptions and engaging program elements through the generosity of these patrons. But thank you most of all to you, the delegates of the General Assembly. Many of you have made long journeys and have contributed to organising the many side events and presentations and associated meetings that will make this General Assembly program so rich. To return to the theme of heritage changes, we hope that the people, events, ideas and experiences of this General Assembly will change you and that it will make the bonds of connection between us more profound so that together we can be the change that we want to see in the world. Thank you. Thank you.